Crack Peak City Band of Bros channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new mode Warzone in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're going to be taking a look at what is the best class setup for this mode. For you guys who don't know, in this new Battle Royale mode, there are drops like in any other Battle Royale game. Uh, but these drops actually allow you to get one of your classes, your regular multiplayer classes. So it is crucial that you set up a good Battle Royale class, not the same ones that you use for multiplayer. So let's jump right into it. So once you're in Warzone and you can see the two game modes here, Battle Royale and Plunder, if you do the R1, uh, if you're in PlayStation, you go ahead and take a look at your weapons. So you're going to go here and edit loadout and you're, it's going to bring up all the multiplayer classes, the same exact ones that you have for multiplayer. But you're going to edit them. Uh, and just a quick tip for you guys. Once you're in the game and you open one of these boxes, you're going to see custom loadout 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I recommend you changing the name on this one. So if you take a look at options and then put rename, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put BR here just for Battle Royale. It's going to be a lot easier because if people are shooting at you, you want to choose the class uh, faster than the other ones, right? So like this one right here, it's it's going to stand out instead of the other ones. You guys can see. All the ones have custom loadout one, two, three, four, and this one is gonna stand out, so I can choose a lot easier. So let's jump right into it. So personally, I like to snipe in this game. I think sniping is really, really crucial, and I recommend you to have a long range weapon, which is gonna be a sniper, and I'm gonna to have to recommend you a medium range weapon. I don't recommend assault rifles. I'm honestly gonna go ahead and choose uh, submachine guns for this game. Why? Because when you're playing a squad, you want your other, maybe your other teammate to have an assault rifle, something like that. But my, my go-to class here is gonna be sniper and, uh, and a submachine gun. So I'm gonna show you the class I have. So for the sniper, I got the AX-50. If you're not that good, you know, with bolt action, I'd recommend the Dragunov. Dragunov is also a solid choice uh, to run in this one. Uh, so choose the dragon of or the hdr if you are gonna go and sit in a really really high building and shoot at people really really far away go ahead and shoot uh choose the hdr because it's gonna have a little bit more range than the ax50 so now let's jump into the attachments for this one uh, what do i have for this one i've got the uh sin guard arm spro which is going to include increased damage range and bullet velocity this is crucial for battle royale right? not so crucial for your normal multiplayer games because you don't have to bullet lead but for this game that you have to bullet lead that means shoot in front of the player um and you're shooting at greater distances because it is a really big map go ahead and set this one for your sniper this is the most important attachment and set next we're going to go with the tack laser which is going to increase the aim down sight speed aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness this is just going to make you move a little bit faster while you're uh, with your sniper for the optic i'm going to leave it like this if you want maybe you can go ahead and add the variable zoom scope again if you're going to be in really high uh, rises or anything like that but I don't use it myself. I think the normal scope is perfectly fine. For the stock, we're going to go ahead and use the Syngard Arms Assassin, which is, again, going to increase that aim down sight speed because I don't really like to pull out my submachine gun unless I'm really close. So I do use my sniper in those medium gun range, uh, gun fights. So I, I do like my sniper to aim in a little bit faster. Uh, here for a prick, this is where you can play around a little bit. If you feel that you don't get enough ammo in the game I, th I believe you can carry 40 bullets of the sniper uh if you believe that you just never find sniper ammo go ahead and put the fully loaded perk which is going to give you maximum ammo if you do feel that you know you're always looted with ammo you feel that you can find bullets everywhere then go ahead and put a recon recon is going to be the most important one if you don't choose fully loaded what recon is going to do is going to allow you to see the enemy nameplates at greater distances again this is crucial especially in a game where the map is so big and there's so many open spaces it's going to allow you to see your enemy a lot faster so if you're not going to choose fully loaded go ahead and choose recon myself personally i don't find that much sniper ammo so i'm going to go ahead and choose fully loaded uh and here for the grip i'm going to add the stippled grip tape which is going to again increase aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed again just to make that uh, sniper a little bit mobile now let's go into the second weapon here the second weapon again i said i'd like to use smgs your two weapon of choices here i would suggest the aug the uzi or the bison uh, the mp7 and the mp5 mp5 is obviously the destruction in submachine guns but it feels it's not that good in this in this kind of game mode because they're a little bit more medium range gunfights uh, the Uzi, I believe, is perfect. It shoots fast, has great stability, and this is what we're going to focus on our attachments in this one because we don't want our, you know, again, like gunfights aren't that close very often unless you get to the really, really end and maybe that's really close. 
but usually again more medium range gunfights so we're going to focus on building our smg as stable as possible so we're going to go ahead and jump into for the muzzle and barrel we got nothing on that for the laser we're going to have the tack laser which is going to get give us aim down sight speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness again just making i believe tack laser is one of the best ones for the optic it's going to be your choice uh for this one i honestly like the apx of uh, 50 XP, FP, apx5 sorry it's going to be a normal hollow sight it has no uh no zoom or anything like that i don't recommend you to put a zoom on this one because if you do get in those close uh close encounters uh you know you're not going to want to have zoom for the stock we're going to go ahead and choose the second one which is going to be the standard issue wood stock which is going to give us that aiming stability the other one gives you speed but again we want this going to be stable so you can engage in those further medium gun fights and we're going to go ahead and check no perk on this one if you do want to again you can put the fully loaded i wouldn't recommend it um i do think you find a lot of smg ammo so no perk needed for the rear grip we're going to choose the first one which is going to give us aiming stability and aiming walking steadiness again making that gun more stable and for the under barrel we're going to choose the last one which is going to give us recoil control and aiming stability making this gun as stable as possible now to the fun part let's jump into the perks perks are really really important because you can actually use your perks when you choose your class so it actually gives them to you so for the first one you get a couple of choices here i use double time uh, especially because you're running a lot and if somebody's shooting at you you do want to um you know you do want to run faster longer if you guys don't know what this one does if you click the running button twice it allows you to go in that movement where you put your gun up and you run faster so especially in this game mode where you're running a lot and that's why we would recommend a double time if not again if you're a person that doesn't find ammo a lot go ahead and use scavenger I don't really recommend it because I, I feel like there's a lot of ammo all over the place, so don't use that. Uh, the other ones is just useless. So maybe Double Time uh, and Scavenger, but Double Time would be my preferred one. In this one, it is a must that you must have Overkill. I wouldn't really recommend just going with a primary and then a, uh, a, a, a pistol. Maybe if you're a launcher guy, then you, could, then you can have your sniper and your launcher or maybe an LMG and a launcher. But honestly, go ahead and put Overkill. If you don't have overkill, if you're good with one weapon, then the most important one is going to be Ghost. Ghost is going to be crucial because at the end, there's so many people that buy UAVs in all these stations. And UAV is so important. So if you do have Ghost, it's going to give you a huge advantage. But a lot of people are not going to be running Ghost on this one. Now, Perk 3, we're going to run Shrapnel. Um, so this one's going to give you just the extra lethal equipment. I honestly like this one. Because this game, as you guys know, a lot of people camp in houses. So bouncing buddies, I found they're really useful, especially when you're securing an area where you're, you're covering a building. Bouncing buddies are really, really helpful. It's just not common to find bouncing buddies in a battle royale game. That's why, for me, they've worked really good. I kind of stay in the second floor with my squad. I put bouncing buddy in each door. And, I mean, I've killed quite a few enemies like that. So go ahead and use shrapnel. Now, for the lethal again, like I said, I got the proximity mine. If you're the Claymore kind of guy, then go ahead and choose Claymore. Now, this would be the ones I recommend the most because they basically cover your backside or if you're if, if you're staying in a building. You know, you can say, I don't camp. I run around all the time. But there's going to be a point in time where you're going to need a camp to hold down a, a location. So I always suggest using the proximity mine. Now, tactical, one of the most important things in the class setup. I mean, that's going to be the smoke. Oh, man, the smoke is one of the most important things. And I cannot stress this enough smoke 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 is a must this one you got flash grenade you got stun grenade you got snapchat all these sort of different stuff but if you find smoke this is a must in your class all right especially in this game where you throw the smoke really fast and the smoke disperses in a really in a faster method than the other every other game smoke i believe once you throw it and it starts popping up it takes like one or two seconds so if somebody's shooting at you and you pop that smoke it is honestly a lifesaver. So smoke grenade is a lifesaver. Reviving your teammates, running away from people shooting at you. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, but that is a must. Again, I'm going to exit out here just so you can take a general view of my class. Again, the general idea is having a sniper, having a stable submachine gun. That is basically my choice. Again, another thing I forgot to mention is um, for your secondary weapon, try choosing a gun that is not in the game uh, to make, give you an upper hand. So if you don't like the Uzi, you can go ahead and choose the assault rifle, which is the new one, the Gra. That's actually a really good one. So uh, th there's, for example, for SMGs, there's the MP7 and there's the Bison in the game. So just a little recommendation, a little tip. Try and put guns 
that aren't in the battle royale mode uh, because they don't have all the guns yet it's kind of like in the beta phase so they don't have all of them but again just a little tip try and choose something that is not in the game to give you a little bit more of an advantage than the other players so that is my class setup for you guys hopefully it does work for you i believe the drop is like 4500 uh, when you buy it in the game but yeah thank you for tuning in if you guys do have any class suggestions that have worked for you guys do comment down below in the comments thank you for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one